years ago, Harrison Guamnesu, a popular human rights activist, took to his Facebook page to inform the world about the story of missing lady, of a missing lady named Glory Okoli. Harrison Guamnesu claimed that the missing lady was labelled as being a member of the Eastern Security Network (ESN). After he made this incident public, he further arranged to meet men of the Nigeria Police Force in order to know know about the whereabouts of Glory Okoli, who, according to him, has been missing for over 71 days. Few moments ago, Harrison Guamnishu made a new post on his Facebook timeline. In the post, he noted that the Okada man who informed them about seeing the missing young girl in custody of officers of the intelligence response team in Oweri has been arrested and imprisoned into Kefi Correctional Facility. Who? <laughs> Can you imagine? As it stands, Glory Okoli is yet to be found and the only person who made a location known was just just got imprisoned too. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, Harrison Guamishi, when he paid the mother of the missing girl a visit weeks ago. <laughs> wow. You day inside your country, they experience this kind of a thing. When some people go outside the country, they say, oh, why you not stay back here, this and this and that. But I don't understand. Why do you expect people not to be desperate to go to other countries by any means? Why do you think people will not be able to do that? Hmm. Oh, wow. Now, wow, now, wow, now, wow. The more you look, the less you see. Have you really found out whether the girl know anything about all the allegations levied against her? The arrest of the girl may be secret so that a member will not know. Please allow police to do their job. If you are looking for popularity in this way, police are not spirits. Someone must be arrested before main offender will be apprehended. Support your security for the good of this nation. Thanks for your comments. You should bear it in mind that Nigeria is full of idiots and tribal men. Only few Nigerians are citizens. Until we learn how to be a citizen, we will remain where we are or get worse. Only citizens can understand the problems facing their country. I am sorry to go this way far, but may Satan destroy you as at this moment for that your evil comment on someone else's child. You animals were just assuming and not sure, but still supporting the evil torture method on the presumed innocent girl. So let's assume she was a member of IPOB or ESN. You kept her in prison for over two months without taking her to court. You rant that police should be allowed to do their job on torturing an innocent girl to the prison for over 70 days. How many of the confirmed killer Fulani Esmen terrorists has been as the same your criminalized, corrupt, lawless, useless police arrested in the name of doing their job? May you and your supporters below be destroyed for your hypocritical, devilish hearts. Nigeria security officers, especially DSS and police, remember that one day, one day, one day, Buhari will leave office. One day, APC will also cease to rule. So why did you allow them to know about the Okada man that gave the information? Haba, that's a stupid question. Are you looking for someone to blame or what? Not stupid question. There is confidential of source. It is unfortunate to hear this kind of evil story. You can only hear such evil story from an evil land. That is it. Police and the DSS, any girl from Igbo land where Una asks out and she refused Una go tag an IPOB or ESN. Look at this innocent girl, you people tag ESN. God will soon judge all of Una. Well, don't forget the Okada rider in your fight for her freedom, please. What fights? You educated illiterate, mm, which are amajiri, amajiri. Okay, you are not serious. This kind of story makes me wonder whether we are in Nigeria or North Korea, or a country where where secret services acts above the law, kidnap people and hold them in communicado, do for as long it pleases them. By the way, it is true. If it is true that that girl was arrested, being a girl from. Uh, a girlfriend to IPOB member, why are those people that are advocating for their 
bandit friend and know all their hiders not arrested also good question no good question thank you for that statement no matter how you harassing we slander the police that will not make the, that will not make them stop their good work okay this one i was i was a person i mean i've been i don't know whether or not i've been a magiri i've been a full anibi so you know him too he wants to wash his hands out outside okay or his pants outside police brutality at play if anyone commits an offense Take him to court. Police has no right to incarcerate anyone without trial. You see how they have disgraced themselves all over the world. See what the Canadian to court talks about them. That you know, describe them that they are corrupt. They are they are they are involved in extrajudicial whatever. And somebody is coming from their end to get asylum. They say no, no, no. We can't give you. Who bewitch us? Why is our government giving to odd news and behaviors? The intimidation and suppression is getting out of hand. I don't know. Go and ask police. They said she's in police custody and you said she's missing. Our police are wicked. What has the Okada man done to warrant his incarceration? Evil word. Oh Lord, save us oh, from, from these people. Save us from them. Save us from them. Save us from them. This is getting out of hand. That is what the people on uniform has become these days. Headers in government uniform. We don't have security in Nigeria anymore, but licensed criminals. This is sad. I hope the gay is found alive. No more Samaritan anymore. Nigeria presently full of evils. He saved the gay from rituals who are powerful. That is how Igbo can go to any less because of money. It shall not be well with the Zoo Republic. Biafra is our final hope. From what I'm trying to reason and believing that this girl must have been killed, who, since from the beginning of her case and even with court orders for her release, nothing has happened. Let the social media platform continue the discussion until the truth is aired. Even the Okada man were not sure of his safety. We are not sure of his safety. We have an evil law enforcement agencies and agents with them. Everything is possible. Let them release the innocent Okada rider now. I don't know, even know what to say. I just lost my mother. So sorry. May I so rest in perfect peace. Where is Nigeria heading to? Hmm, to the habits. Nigeria is already a face state. It's just a matter of time. Nigeria will be no more.